Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ping Ping and for today's video, I will discuss to you or I will teach you how to pay for your visa fee in the Philippines if you are applying for a non-immigrant visa. You just let me know guys in the comment section if you also want to know about how to pay for immigrant visa in applying for immigrant visa in the Philippines. But for now, this video, I will teach you how to pay your visa fee using RCBC Bank or PISO net so i will share to you my screen in order for you to see the links and the website that we are going to use and how to navigate it in order for you to get the correct visa fee or the mrv sleep that you need in order for you to show it to the rcbc bank and how can you use P peso net if you want to pay it online okay so let's go guys so this is the website that you need to access in order for you to pay for your visa fee for your non-immigrant visa okay that is the website please take note i will also put the website or the links on the description box below so that you will not having a hard time typing it we'll just copy it and paste it on the link okay so there are different types of visa under the non-immigrant visa we have this 160 is for non-immigrant visa which is b1 b2 or the tourist visa if you are applying for tourist visa deposit slip for um this one and we also have deposit slip for 205 or australian something guys this is for australian a visa or something so these are the things that you need uh, i mean these are the links that you need to click if you want to pay for specific types of visa under the non-immigrant visa so if you want to pay for the um, visa category which is uh tourist visa or b1 b2 you have to click this one the 160 160 dollars mrv sleep you have to click open the link and then there you go so what are you going to do with this one guys is you print this part yes this one okay let me print you have to screenshot and paste it on a document and then you print it okay and then once you print this part you have to bring it in any rcbc branch nationwide together with your passport and you show it in the rcbc teller okay so please take note that this is uh, this MRV slip or US visa fee deposit slip has a expi has an expiration date of until July 24. So once it's you want to pay the visa fee, you only have until July 24 to pay for this visa fee. So right now here is July 18, 1921, 2 and 3 and 4. So you have six days to pay for your visa fee and then it will expire if you want to pay on july 25 you need to print another us visa deposit slip so how can you print a new deposit slip you can just refresh it so the receipt number that you need to take note is this one guys you need this number in order for you to Put it in the CGI portal in order for you to schedule an interview. So this is the visa number or the MRV number that you need or the US visa number that you need to put in your CGI portal for you to schedule an interview. So if you want to have new US visa fee deposit slip, all you need to do is refresh this link and then there you go they will give you another visa fee which is new one now the bank or the receipt number is new it ends with 651 a while ago it ends with 653 so these are the things that you have to take note if you want to pay for your visa slip the expiration date which is you have to pay not later than the expiration date of your us visa deposit slip and the receipt number you have to take note of this okay all you need to do is bring it at any branch of rcbc bank and pay it and bring your passport as well this is for tourist visa okay now let's go back here if you want to pay for your k1 visa you have to click this deposit slip of 265 okay let's do right click and then open a new link and there you go you have 
the USB visa deposit slip for K1. The amount is fourteen thousand eight hundred forty, and of course, take note uh, take note of the expiration date and the receipt number, which you need when you schedule an interview. All right? Okay. Now let's talk about the. Let's go back to the, the link. One ninety. The the deposit slip one hundred ninety dollars. One hundred ninety dollars is under this one temporary or seasonal workers employment and trainees so that is $190 the B visa type is H right okay so $190 let's go back and click it all right open new link and there you go you have to bring it again to the RCBC bank and use this bank receipt or US visa fee deposit slip when you pay in any bank in RCBC. By the way guys, before it's BPI, but now you have to pay in RCBC bank, okay? Take note of the expiration date and the receipt number. All right, let's close this. This one is for B1, B2, US tourist visa. This one is for K1 visa. Now let's go back to the other types of visa, which is the 205 deposit slip, 200, $205. $205 is the treaty trader investor Australian professional specialty. The amount in peso is 11480 So if you're under that visa, which is visa category E, visa type E, you have to click it, right click, open new link, and there we go you have to again screenshot print it and then bring it in any rcbc bank and pay your visa fee remember the expiration date and the receipt number okay so that's how you pay for your visa fee via rcbc bank you have to cash at bank deposit at any branch nationwide of rcbc now if you want to pay it online we have another option for you which is the online payment pesanet so this is the same the link is still the same you have to click the pesanet okay open new link and this is the link for pesanet now guys this is the number that you have to take note this is your reference number below so step one Click here to create a profile. The profile, guys, is the CGI portal where you can schedule an account. Step two is you pay your visa fee via peso net. So this is the reference number. The difference is a while ago for a cash in bank or deposit in any RCBC bank, this is your receipt number. For peso net, this is your receipt your number you have to take note of this because you have to encode that guys in the cgi portal okay so this is the steps of course you can you have to use your bank whatever is your bank bpi whatever land bank metro bank as long as it is it has a peso net services okay make sure it has a peso net services so log in in your mobile banking application or online banking website step one Step two, look for the uh, web part of the uh, online banking where you can see PesoNet. Step three, you will be asked for en to enter below the information to proceed with your online PesoNet payment. Of course, beneficiary name business and beneficiary is you guys and bank name is whatever is your bank name, bank identifier, this is it. You copy this one guys copy this and bank account name you also copy this and account number you put seven seven all the seven guys you copy plus this digit okay again account number copy this seven 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 seven, seven, seven that two four six eight sevens plus this digit from the passionate reference number as shown in step two this one okay and then address wherever you live and your contact number total amount of mrv fee amount in peso the amount in peso of your mrv fee is depends on the visa type that you are applying for so whatever it is we have deposit slip for b1 b2 and other visa type for k1 265 
190 is for what is that 190 guys i forgot 190 here temporary seasonal workers and of course 205 for australian what is it 205 here treaty australian professional specialty in Paso, that's it. You copy 11,480, 160, 8960, 190, 10,640. And for fiancé visa, that is 14,840. Okay? And then that's it. After you set a payment, you will receive an email that your payment is being processed. Please take note of this visa application fee payment processing timeline. For online payment, you are given Monday to Friday, not including bank holidays, between 12 midnight and 2, 11, 59 p.m. Then you can schedule your appointment anytime after 1.30 p.m. the following business day. If you pay weekends and bank holidays, you can schedule your appointment anytime after 1.30 p.m. the following business day. You wait for the business day, okay? If the weekend is Saturday, Sunday, then you can schedule on Monday. If the holiday is on Friday, then you can schedule on Monday. Because Saturday and Sunday is weekends, so they say it's anytime the following business day, okay? So that's how you schedule your U.S. tourist visa for non-immigrant visa. These are the types of non-immigrant visa. We have visa type B, B1, B2, C1, or CI, C1D, transit for seafarer. You also need to use $160. This $160, CW, D, E, F, H, I, J, K, spousal, L, M, O, P, Q, R, T, T, N, T, N, D, and U. All right? So these are the visa fee that you need to pay in dollars and in peso. So that's it. That's how you pay it in using online account, which is PesoNet, and also using your bank account via cash deposit in any RCBC branch. Right, guys? Thank you. That's all. all right, guys. This is how you process your payment on your visa. All right. That's how you make a payment for your uh, non-immigrant visa via bank deposit cash deposit through RCBC Bank and also via online payment via Peso Net. Okay, if you have questions regarding this topic, feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next vlog.